Welcome back, Patriots, to the Ball of Brad Show. We have Peter Ducey sparring against Cree Jean Pierre regarding what's taking place at our southern border, and it is insane. I'm going to follow up with building a case in one minute or less. Joe Biden committing treason. Let's roll it. Thank you. So, on this border video, what does President Biden think should happen to adult men? who are assaulting and overpowering U.S. National Guardsmen. Well, let me just first say we're grateful, and I said this moments ago, to Border Patrol agents uh, for their to, to, quickly, to quickly work and get the situation under control and apprehend the migrants. So let, I want to be really clear that everyone who was apprehended was apprehended by Border Patrol. They were able to do their job, even though it's made it more, even though Republican uh, governor, in particular Governor Abbott, has made it difficult for them. They need more resources. We we need more personnel. I mean, we have to have the backs of our law enforcement on the ground are, who are dealing with this every day. But Republicans are getting in the way. Republicans in Congress do not want to help. And you have a governor, Governor Abbott, who's politicizing it. That is what's happening. Border Patrol agents did their job, even though, you know, the governor is getting in the way of them doing their jobs. But I get that you guys, uh, you talk so much about having a more humane immigration system. This video does not show helpless women and children begging for a safe place to come in. It shows adult men landing haymakers on U.S. troops in uniform. If that was happening anywhere else in the world, wouldn't President Biden send reinforcements? So two things. Everyone was apprehended by the Border Patrol agents. That is important to note. They were apprehended. Were they deported? What, they were apprehended. I can't speak to individual cases. That's not something I can do. I can. I can. No, they haven't been deported. And if that wasn't enough, some of these people that actually assaulted Border Patrol agents are being let loose into the interior of the country. It's already been covered 24 hours later. <laughs> Jesus. You from here. But they were all apprehended. That's number one. And it, the reason why you're talking about the uh, Texas National Guard, they were there because of the governor of Texas. The governor of Texas put the Texas National Guard there. We didn't put them there. He put them there. What we need is actually real solutions. We need to see resources. The Border Patrol agents deserve resources. They deserve to be able to do their jobs. And we're not getting that from Republicans. They're rejecting a bipartisan agreement that came out of the Senate. And last one, there is a Venezuelan migrant with half a million followers on TikTok who is telling border crossers they can live in empty houses in this country. Would President Biden support a law that would make that kind of squatting illegal? I have not seen that TikTok video, so I can't comment on that. Go ahead, Akila. You don't have to see the TikTok video to say that something is bad. You don't. God, dude, it, it drives me up a wall, this lady. She's the worst. She, she's going to blame Republicans, one, for what's taking place at the southern border. She's going to blame Governor Greg Abbott for what just took place at the southern border because of their handling and what they're allowing at the southern border to happen. And then they're apprehending these people, not deporting any of them, for doing something that was criminal of assaulting somebody, let alone coming into the country illegally. And now they're going to let them into the interior of the country after what they just did at the southern border. Furthermore, I'm going to build the case here about Joe Biden committing treason because that's the elephant in the room, folks. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to say it. I will here on the show. The question of whether a president not enforcing border policies constitutes treason is complex and, you know, quite frankly, deeply rooted in legal definitions. I will give them that and interpretations of the Constitution. So treason against the United States shall consist only in the levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies. There you go giving them aid or comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two or more witnesses to the same overt act or on confession in open court. Joe Biden is giving aid and comfort to our enemies, which are terrorists and spies and these proxy groups that are being supported by Iran. It's already been covered. They're already here in the United States. We know about some of them. That comes from DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas confessing to Congress, as well as the Border Patrol agents, which was released on memo to everybody, including the executive branch, that this was actually taking place. Joe Biden, by definition, is committing treason, in my opinion. Therefore, for an act to be considered treasonous, it must involve actively levying war against the United States or aiding its enemies, which, again, it's an or statement, not an and, it's an or statement. Joe Biden, by definition, by allowing terrorism to take place, terrorist proxy groups to filter through our southern border, 
and aiding our enemies by giving them comfort, giving them rental assistance, giving them clothing, bedding, transportation, paying for whatever they want, in fact, is aiding their enemies. The failure to enforce border policies will potentially, or consider, you know, his dereliction of duty. Also, violation of other laws or oaths of office does not inherently meet the constitutional definition of treason. But again, by him not enforcing that, by having a dereliction of duty, violating his very duty that he took an oath of office to uphold, which was the constitution, which is what we're getting treason from in the first place, by him aiding its enemies is thus treason, folks. Let me know what you think about this. Is that a good case? Am I building a good case that Joe Biden is committing treason here? Let me know in the comment section below. And folks, I'll see you next time here on The Bull Brad Show.